Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Lieberman. I'm an associate professor of surgery at New York Presbyterian Hospital and Weill Cornell Medical College. I am a surgical oncologist. I have extensive training in uh, surgical oncology, having completed a fellowship at the University of Pennsylvania and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I predominantly practice uh, surgery with respect to gastrointestinal malignancies and malignant melanoma. I am presently director of surgery at J, the J. Monahan Center of Gastrointestinal Health and uh, director of surgical oncology at Weill Cornell. My particular interests in gastrointestinal cancer include pancreatic cancer, gastric cancer, and colorectal cancer. What I'm most proud about in terms of my practice here at Weill Cornell is the multidisciplinary center that I participate with at the J. Monahan Center. This is a comprehensive cancer center that deals with patients with gastrointestinal malignancies and includes myself as a surgeon as well as other medical practitioners, gastroenterologists, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, and the host supportive fields of radiology, pathology that are required for the, for the treatment of patients with gastrointestinal cancers. The thing that we're most pleased about is the ability to provide seamless, comprehensive, and compassionate care of patients. You'll hear here many uh, other uh, medical doctors talk about what they do best. They talk about laparoscopic surgery, they'll talk about more radical types of surgery, but I think the key emphasis for us here at Cornell is the ability to provide comp uh, seamless care, compassionate care, and provide all of the necessary uh, treatments that are required for you to get well and to support you uh, both physically and mentally while you get well. The areas of surgery that I uh, specialize in, for instance, pancreatic surgery, some of which can be done with minimally invasive techniques. I use laparoscopic techniques for the excision of cystic neoplasms of the pancreas for small solid neoplasms in the tail and body of the pancreas, but I am very experienced in a very complex procedure called the pancreatic oduodenectomy or Whipple procedure for pancreatic cancers that are in the head of the pancreas. This is a rare operation that's done only by a few surgeons throughout the country and should only be done at experienced centers such as ours. We have a very low mortality rate associated with this operation and have excellent results as a result of this. The other operations that I uh, perform or diseases that I take care of are patients with gastric cancer. Here, some patients require conventional surgery which require removal of the tumor in the stomach as well as surrounding lymph nodes to enhance uh, outcomes and uh, to better stage patients with this disease. However, we are also able to perform laparoscopic procedures, for instance, for patients with gastrointestinal stromal tumors of the stomach, where sometimes we will work together with a gastroenterologist and perform endoscopic and laparoscopic techniques to remove a tumor, such as these gastrointestinal stromal tumors or pre-malignant tumors in the stomach. We are presently also investigating the use of laparoscopic techniques in removing patients with adenocarcinoma of the stomach or more conventional gastric cancers of the stomach. These results are pending, but we are in the forefront of looking at these particular techniques. Finally, I also take care of patients with colorectal cancer. What is uh, important in terms of uh, my participation with this disease is being able to provide uh, minimally invasive techniques for patients who have colon cancers, but also have reserved uh, open techniques for sphincter salvage in patients with low rectal cancer. And here we work together with our colleagues in medical oncology and radiation oncology to try, try to shrink tumors in the rectum to preserve the rectal uh, sphincter mechanism. So our goal in these particular procedures are to provide the best oncologic care, but also to see if we can uh, enhance the quality of our patients' lives by saving uh, the rectal sphincter. 
On the research front, I participate in the clinical trials that are available through a variety of multi-center uh, uh, cooperative groups, including the American Cancer, uh, the American College of Surgeons uh, group, as well as the Eastern Cooperative Group, uh, where we are participants and, and, and registering patients for a variety of different trials that are ongoing for patients with pancreatic, gastric, and colorectal cancer. We also have a particular interest here at Cornell with respect to chemotherapeutic agents in the use and treatment of patients with pancreatic cancer and mucinous neoplasms of the pancreas. Finally, I'm also interested in patients who have what's called carcinomatosis, which is tumors that have spread beyond the site of origin uh, in a particular organ and involve the surfaces of the abdomen. In these patients, we have been able to offer them surgical debulking and the use of hyperthermic chemotherapy in the operating room through a continuous infusion that may have a role in prolonging patient's survival and quality of life.